known as the land of 10,000 lakes. With winter over, Paul and Babe went right to work. They logged off North and South Dakota, dug the Missouri River to flow the logs to the sawmills, and then, so they could look the country over and see what else to do, they built Pike's Peak. Now, that was a fair day's work, even for Paul. So next morning, he overslept a little bit. Babe wanted him to get up. Hey, what's the idea, you big blue ox? Now, watch it, watch it. <laughs> Cut it out, babe. <laughs> well, one little knob led to another. <laughs> and the first thing you know, they was rough passing all over the countryside. <laughs> Then Paul and Babe got into a big tug of war. They piled dirt and rocks so high, it formed a range of mountains. Today, they are called the Grand Tetons. Well, sir, all this horse play, I mean ox play, made Paul and Babe kind of dirty. So Paul looked the countryside over and got together with Babe. And before long, he had built them a shower bath. They went off and left it running. And today, Paul's shower bath is called Yellowstone Falls. Short Gunderson's my name. I'm river foreman of a timber camp near the Oregon Trail. My outfit was mighty discouraged the day Paul Bunyan arrived. We were getting plenty of timber in the river, but we couldn't move it to the sawmills because the river was so dead burn crooked. Paul looked the situation over careful like. Then he harnessed Babe with a yoke, hitched on a big anchor, and threw it in at the head of the river. Gee up, Babe! <laughs> country began to prosper. Yep, civilization had arrived in the great Northwest, and with it came the prophets of progress. Now just move in a little closer, boys. He, yes sirree, right in this box is the invention that's going to revolutionize the logging business. If you'll step over to the nearest tree, I'll demonstrate. With the double blade axe and my hobnail boots, I go where the timbers talk. Thunderation! What's that? Yes, sir, boys, just turn on the steam and let her go. Hey there. Who are you? And what the Sam Hill's that thing? Me? I'm Joe the Faw, and this thing is the latest model of the handy-dandy steam saw. Now, Bub, if you'll just step aside, I'd like to cut this tree down. <laughs> Up here, we cut timber with a big axe, like this one. And we haul it with a big ox, like that one. Look, Bub, you got to get with the times. Become modern. There's the latest invention for hauling timber. A steam loki. With this steam saw and that engine, I can cut and haul more timber than you and that blue ox ever thought of. <laughs> Is that so? You with your newfangled contraptions. You with your big axe and old fogey ways. I'll show you what I can do with this axe. I dare you to try it. Ha! Looks like a toy to me. Toy, huh? I'll show you. I'll... 
There was only one way to settle it. I was appointed judge. This contest to last one hour. Then I'll measure the stacks of timber and declare the winner. You fellas ready? Ready! Ready! The race looked dead even, and when I went to measure the stacks, they looked dead even too. Well, I shinnied up all stack first. Pulled the measuring chain taut. For Paul, 240 feet. Even. Yeah! Right for Paul! Give me your hands, 240 yards. For Joel, 240 feet. Uh, and one quarter inch. Oh. Yippee! Poor Paul. Poor Paul Bunyan. Yep, the machine that beaten man. But don't you folks feel sorry for Paul and Babe? I hear they're up Alaska way. And mighty happy. Lots of room up there, you know. And those northern lights you see in the sky, well, that's Paul and Babe having a lot of fun. Oxen around, knocking the Aurora Borealis out of the countryside. <laughs> hey, Paul! 